We've been working on this technology for, for 25 years. We, our you know, electric powertrain is 98% efficient. And this whole range extender hybrid concept has only come around in the last five, six years. And for us, it's been very easy to just take a, a one litre petrol engine, plug it into a generator to recharge the battery pack. At the rear of the car is that we have two electric motors that drive the rear wheels. At the front of the car, we have a one litre three cylinder engine, petrol engine and in the middle of the car, right below the floor, is a battery pack. Now what happens is um, the uh, battery pack drives the motors and the, the petrol engine never drives the wheels. The petrol engine's only job is to recharge the battery pack. So let's just say when uh, you're driving along and the battery level gets down to may maybe 10% or whatever figure is set, um, the petrol engine will turn on and it'll just recharge the battery pack and then it'll turn off. Um, it takes about 8 to 12 minutes to recharge the battery pack to full. The whole car is, is very intelligent and very smart. The, um, we, have, uh, we have basically a system called DART, which is Data Acquisition Remote Telemetry System. And what DART does is it has sensors all across the car, all across all our um, components, and it just monitors their use, their hours, how they're doing, um, and it records it all. So we, do, we have something called uh, proactive maintenance. So two months, three months, six months before something's about to fail, whether it's a light bulb or maybe a cell in the battery pack, the car will let you know. And the great thing about proactive maintenance is that you can take it to someone before it becomes a problem and it'll be significantly cheaper for you to get fixed than if something goes wrong and then you have to do it afterward. Yeah, do it. And what makes it different from all the other sort of stations out there is that we use a technology called concentrated photovoltaic panels. And these panels, instead of using silicon across the full faceplate, we use a tiny amount and we have mirrors and, 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 um, that reflect the light and concentrate the light onto this tiny amount of silicon. So they're very cheap, they're very light and they're very, very flexible. Because it's so light and flexible, um, we're able to use uh, smart technologies and actually track the sun so it's always getting the optimum amount of en um, solar energy. We've had this station up for two years. In its first year um, it produced each bay produced enough free energy for 20,000 uh, kilometers. Under the charging station, we have lithium-ion batteries. Now we can put as many or as little as we like, but we can make sure that there's enough capacity so any excess charge that's not used is just stored underneath. So if they come overnight, they can plug it in. Even though there's no sunlight, there'll be plenty of battery uh, energy storage underneath, and uh, they'll be able to charge whenever they, they need to. And let's just say um, by dawn, they still have excess energy, they can just sell it off to the grid with no problem. Oh.